Hello my dear children of grade 6. You are welcome to the grade 6 job prep lesson. In this lesson, we are going to talk about nature of the land in the immediate surrounding. We know children, all of us use a house to live in. Now tell me, what is a house? The building in which you live with your parents and other family members is called the house. The building in which you live with your parents and other family members is called the house. Now, think about your house. Who are the members living in your house with you? There may be your parents, your sisters and brothers, sometimes your grandparents, now, I think you may have a clear image about the house. Then, let's see different environment in which houses are located. All houses are not located in the same environment. Your house may be located in an urban, rural, slope, plain or hilly environment. Now, Observe the houses located in different environments. First one, the house located in a rural area. Now, pay your attention towards the surroundings of these houses. They are small and seems to lack facilities. Second one, the house in the coastal environment. Here, you can see the houses which are very close to the sea. People who live in these houses have to face a lot of problems such as sea erosion, dryness and the tsunami. Third one, the house located in state environment. You know children, some people are living in the houses located in state. Especially state like tea, rubber and coconut. As most of them being the workers of these states, they have to build their houses in state environment. Next one, the houses located in a slope. Some people have to live on slopes. Especially for those who live in mountainous areas, have to build their houses on slopes. Sometimes, they may have to face disasters like landslides. The house is located in an urban environment. Due to abundance of more facilities, most people like to live in urban areas. Therefore, they try to build or rent a house from towns. But they have to face a lot of problems living in a town. Environment pollution, lack of plants, Antisocial activities are some of them. According to above figures, it is clear that houses are located in various environments. Wherever your house is located, it is your duty and responsibility to protect the environment. Study the above figure and do the following activity. Picture number 1, picture number 2, picture number 3, Picture number 4, picture number 5, picture number 6, picture number 7 and picture number 8. Match the number of the picture with the captions given below and write the correct number in the relevant box provided. Number 1, the house located in a rural environment. Then second one, the house located in a coastal environment. Third one, the house located in a state environment. Fourth one, the house located on a highland. Fifth one, the house located on a plain. Next one, the house located on a slope. Seventh, the house located in an urban environment. Last one, the house located in a slightly hilly land.
Now go through the activity. I think you may guess the answers. Let's see. The house located in a rural environment. Answer number is 6. The house located in a coastal environment. Number 2. The house located in a state environment. Number 4. The house located on a high land. Number 1. The house located on a plain. Number 7. The house located on a slope. Number 3. The house located in an urban environment. Number 8. The house located in a slightly hill land. Number 5. Okay children, now we come to the end of today's lesson. I hope to meet you again with another meaningful lesson. Have a nice day.